Oh yes, it is time. Ubisoft just dropped the post-launch content trailer for Assassin's Creed Odyssey and it looks really, really promising, including a first look at the season pass content and of course a lot of free content coming after launch as well. And there is a surprise for season pass owners too. So let's break it all down in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go! Let's start with the season pass content that is different this time around. Ubisoft will now namely release two story arcs with each three episodes. So they kind of compare it to a TV show that you play one and then wait for the other episodes or you can play them all at once when the last one is of course released. The first story arc is called Legacy of the First Blade that starts in December this year. Players will fight alongside the first hero to wield the iconic hidden blade while learning why the assassins chose to fight from the shadows. So yes, now we can say that the Hidden Blade is indeed in the game. Okay, it is part of the DLC, but still. And there he is, right? Darius, the first hero to use the Hidden Blades to kill the Persian King Xerxes. So we will learn more about the origins of the Hidden Blade and maybe get one ourselves as well at the end. I mean, I still think that the Spear of Leonidas will turn into a Hidden Blade, maybe with the help of Darius. So yes, of course, I'm in. I want to hear this story. So again, the first episode of this story arc will start in December 2018 and then roughly every six weeks we will get a new episode so likely the second one in late January or early February and then the third episode in March or early April and then probably six weeks after that you would think we will see the fate of Atlantis story arc. In the second story arc the fate of Atlantis players will confront godly creatures and uncover the secrets of the legendary sunken city. In a surprising saga with many twists and turns players will get even closer to Greek mythology and the first civilization. So while the legacy of the first blades will be more like the hidden ones from Origins, I think, more grounded, more focused on the Assassin's Creed lore, while the fate of Atlantis is likely comparable to the curse of the Varos with more magical things going on and them being tied to the first civilization artifacts. I mean, they mentioned monstrous creatures, a story with many twists and turns. So yes, please, sounds really cool. Hopefully a lot of gear inspired by these creatures as well. I just thought of other things too, like the choices that will of course play a part in these stories I would imagine so how will that work will there be different endings can I like replay the thing as much as I want many many questions but we do know that the fate of Atlantis first episode is slated to release in spring 2019 so likely six weeks after the final legacy of the first blade that would be my guess not confirmed but we do know that the second episode and the third episode will again release roughly six weeks after each other so yes then we're already well into 2019 because of course the origin support ended in march 2018 but we already knew this in 2019 there will be no new assassin's creed games so ubisoft will instead focus on odyssey and this episodic structure is one way to do it so apart from these two story arcs we will also get included in the season pass assassin's Assassin's Creed 3 remastered so we can finally play Assassin's Creed 3 on the PS4 and Xbox One. The game should have enhanced graphics, a new graphics engine, higher resolution textures, 4K and HDR support on the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X and PC and also gameplay mechanics and ergonomics should be improved. So that actually sounds pretty cool and more than just a better looking version of the game. Of course we have to wait and see but we don't have to wait that long because the AC3 Remastered launches in March 2019 and will also include all the DLCs, so the Benedict Arnold missions, hidden secret packs and also the Tyranny of King George DLC. Also, Assassin's Creed the Liberation Remastered will be included in this pack as well. And this sort of deal really made me think of the Far Cry 5 season pass that included Far Cry 3 Classic Edition that was then also released as a standalone download and Ubisoft confirms that the Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered pack will also be available as a standalone download in March 2019. So you don't need the Assassin's Creed Odyssey season pass in order to get Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. So yes, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and the two story arcs with six episodes and again many questions about these episodes like how big are they how many hours 
How will they be in terms of new gear? Will there be a new environment to explore? Will there also be a ton of side quests and other side content in these episodes? Do we only get new gear for completing these main story missions? Will there be like special gear to find in the world as well? I do like the idea of them like spacing it out though. So you got always something to look forward to because it seems like there's a lot to do in between the releases of these season pass episodes as well. Because we also got three story episodes called The Lost Tales of Greece that will include new quest in Greece from new characters and familiar faces of the world of Odyssey. And I think that while the season pass content will likely take place in the new areas, these free quests will likely take place in the world that is already in the game. Just what I think will be the case. And we see in this roadmap that the Lost Tales of Greece will launch in between the season pass content and that the first quest will already release before the first episode of the Legacy of the First Blade story arc, so maybe already in November. It's unclear how many quests will be like released and what like the rewards will be. But in the video the game director notes that it should provide a content flow of new stories for players to discover. So I think it will likely be more than one quest but that is just me speculating. And that is not all in terms of free content. There will also be weekly and daily in-game events like an epic mercenary or an epic ship that will appear into the world and reward you with legendary gear. There will also be weekly and daily contracts that will send you on new quests across Greece and I think the difference between this and the Lost Tales of Greece is that those are more like story focused while these bounties likely just have you do something like kill bandits or something else in order to complete it and you want to do them because then you get a new special currency that you can spend at the Oikos of the Olympians vendor to buy epic or legendary gear for your level as you see in this footage the character is level 25 so the items in the shop are that as well. Interesting is that new inventory will arrive every week and we already get a look at some cool gear as you see right here that you can likely get from this shop. An awesome heavy blade, helmet and chest. And I hope that for every player the Fendor is the same like every week because then I can of course do a video discussing the new gear that drops. I mean it kind of looks the same like the hidden one store in Origins only that was like different for every player. So I hope this one is the same for everyone. And these trailers are like my favorite gets me super excited and I think the trial of the gods equivalent of Odyssey will be against the mythical beast that we see like in a picture here in the final shot of the post-launch roadmap with Alexios fighting a big ogre looking really really cool so big bosses like that return yes yes please hopefully a cool legendary gear set that accompanies that as well and of course the new game plus mode is coming as well something i reported on a while back and i never really thought of it but because of the choices you make this mode will be even more interesting like letting you do different things so you see different outcomes get the person on your crew now while you might have missed him the first time around or you can try and get that romance again that you filled the first time hopefully they add the possibility to get more skill points as well since you will not be able to get and upgrade all the abilities in one playthrough so it would be cool if we could like further enhance our character in new game plus mode that way but yeah i don't know about you but this looks very very promising to me way more than in origins that already had a lot of post-launch content support but still you would like hit a wall where you could not really progress any further and you had like killed all the elephants or all the roaming bosses and they would not respawn again like odyssey already has endless systems in place so you can keep killing these mercenaries keep doing these conquest battles to get cool gear and i could already select the nightmare difficulty from the start as well so you can already get a tough challenge if you want at launch the photo mode should be available at launch as well i could already toy around with that at the press event i went to recently to play a lot of odyssey Odyssey will be a way bigger game than Origins was to begin with. I mean, we already saw the end game content as well with the Medusa boss fight and there should be more of that bosses in the game as well, like islands in the game that are designed for level 50 players and it will take 80 to 100 hours to get there. And on top of that, we have even more post-launch content than in Origins. So I think it's safe to say that if you want to spend a ton of time in this game, you totally can. Hard to say like how the episodic sort of system will turn out, Waiting six weeks for a new episode can be long and maybe because of that you will kind of lose track of what is going on But it does give you like I already said something to look forward to while you play all the other activities to get new gear through the weekly bosses And of course the shop and as the end of the trailer suggests as well There will be more I mean we know there will be an arena in the game and we might see some post-launch additions to that as well Like a horde mode that we saw in origins 2 
the item packs will very likely return as we already see them in some of the additions of the game. But yeah, I'm impressed. This looks awesome and got me even more hyped for Odyssey for sure. October 5th is close. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything as we near the release and of course beyond as well. Like this video to support the channel. Check out my recent video with impressions of my six hour long play session with a ton of new info. Got way more videos from that play session coming up as well. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.